so close to a very good result here this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, uh, probably a goalkeeper save away from going uh, from going two 0 up. Dis um, obviously disappointed with the goals uh, conceded, but yeah. we came with a game plan uh, and uh, and it was working. Um, and again, you could tell the, the atmosphere that they created. Uh, we needed to uh, withstand it. We needed to make first contact in the box. The, 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 and then the chances that we had, the goalkeeper pulls off uh, two very good saves. Yeah, he had a great chance to make it 2 1, didn't he? That uh, save from their keeper from Oliver was, in the end, a match turner, really, wasn't it? Yeah, good, re good reaction save from him. Uh, I thought we dealt with a lot of balls into the box. Uh, again, the amount of balls that they were putting in the box, uh, we just needed to make sure that we did our jobs um, picking men up, marking dangerous areas, making first contact. Um, in terms of the changes you made today, you took off Williams just after half time. Uh, was that because that was a tactical switch, or was he was he struggling a bit with an injury? Well, he it, taken a bit of a knock uh, earlier on, uh, and then we just we needed to make uh, we needed a physical presence up front. Um, not saying I thought, I thought Willow did very well first half, uh, and then just uh, we needed to win that first contact and get us up the pitch. Uh, and again, I've got to say, slightly disappointed with Vidane that today he uh, came on. And I know it's very difficult coming on, coming on with a sub. Uh, I don't think he held the ball up enough. I don't think he, he won enough of that first contact and he didn't get us up the pitch enough. Um, but that's just it's not all about Vidane. That, that, that is, I, was, I don't think, I thought we lost that, connect, that connection between the midfield and the striker. So sometimes we play in very isolated. And Wharton on for Adams. Adams, um, was he again tiring or was that a question of trying to hang, hang on to what you had at the time? Well, well again, it was an opportunity uh, to get another header of the ball uh, in the box. I think it's, uh, the amount of balls that they were putting in the box, we, uh, we needed that another physical presence, that another contact. And right at the end, you almost got an equaliser. We were hoping it would sneak in there. You probably deserved it on the, on the balance of play this afternoon, didn't you? At least a draw. Yeah, I think so. I, th I think, I, I, and this is—it's going to sound critical, but it's not—it's not—it's not meant as personal. It's not meant as a, as a criticism of the referee. I think their manager had a go at him at half time, and I think it did affect him. Yeah, when you say, is, 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 can that be deemed as personal? Well, just trying to explain perhaps a bit more. What are you saying when he came down the tunnel at half time? He was in his ear, was he? Yeah, well, was yeah, yeah, when, when we were leaving the pitch, uh, the manager had to go, uh, their manager had to go because he was disappointed with some of the decisions. And I think that had uh, an effect on the referee, whereby some of the decisions that they got in the second half, uh, uh, in my opinion, were unmerited. It might, there's no way is it meant personal. I think it's a professional learning curve uh, for the young referee. I think it's, it's one of those. Do, do the right thing and don't try and show bias. I think he's a first year referee, big stadium, um, big, big game, crowd, big crowd, big big atmosphere, and I don't think he handled it well enough. I think he should have just uh, give what, gave what he saw and backed back his judgment. Have you spoken to Mr. Doughty about his performance this afternoon? Uh, if he's still here, uh, I will go and uh, uh, as, as I was leaving the pitch, uh, I said it to him. So again, it's not, it's not, I'm not talking, not talking out of turn. I think it's just an observation. I think it's a, a valid observation uh, that, he, that hopefully he goes back, the referee and the referee's assessor goes back uh, and review the game. Uh, you mentioned the, the manager there, Gary Barry, he was in the ear of uh, the referee at half time, as you say, and also in the ear of Charlie Good at the end there. He seemed to get very animated, the Bradford City manager this afternoon, Keith. Um, yeah, there was, a, there was an ongoing discussion. Yeah, he'd be happy because he knows he's having an effect on the rest of the Yeah, OK. Let's try and be positive to finish with. It's, it's a disappointing result today, but you've gone close to upsetting one of the leading lights in this division. How pleased are you with the overall performance? Do you, do you think the Cobbers are making progress game on game? Yeah, I think so. I think the, 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 shape, the shape was good. The, the performance level, I thought we had a, a valid... Uh, lead at half time, and I, I, don't, I, I don't think it causes the problems. I don't really think Dyer made a save in the first half. I thought we frustrated them, nullified them, and we looked dangerous on the break. Uh, again, in the first half, when we had the when Nicky Adams got, uh, got pulled back on the halfway line, uh, the referee played advantage, then there was no advantage, uh, and the lad, uh, uh, well, I think it was, uh, was it Sammy Oscars ran offside. Yeah, he was, yeah. yeah. It was a, it's got to be a free kick to us because there's no, there's no obvious advantage. You obviously, you obviously feel a little bit ill done by today, Keith. You've got a week now to, to, to uh, get things back on track and, and Newport County this time next week, home match, hopefully as good as you were for long periods today and as good as you were against Plymouth in your last home fixture. Yes. Yeah. All right. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Thanks, Keith.